Hey guys, here's the assignment, chapter 1.5, Claim Evidence and Reason. Remember, we've been examining the phenomenon about what happened to the lake on um, Titan, Saturn's lake on Titan. It's a methane lake, and we saw evidence that in 2007 it was there, and in 2009 it was gone. And we're trying to figure out, well, what, what happened to this lake? How did it just disappear? Okay, and we've narrowed it down to two ideas. It probably froze or it probably evaporated. So for chapter one, what we're doing is we're trying to figure out, well, how do molecules change, right? How do those individual molecules change in phases? Because if we understand how they change, then maybe we can better understand what happened to the lake on Titan. So in this, we looked at the macro scale. When you have a gas, well, it's really not visible and it fills all of the space that it's in. But how do gases behave when they're on the molecular scale? And we used the simulation and you were able to look at how they change. So you had to decide, are the molecules tightly packed together and can only move in place like this? Do the molecules move all around and flow from one location to the other, but they still stick together? And then I told them, like how you said, or do, do the molecules there? move around freely? So and the analogy we use was people sure. dancing at a wedding or a quinceanera. And we said that gases were like little kids at a wedding yeah. dancing. And little kids, when they're dancing, are just crazy, moving around everywhere. So molecules move around freely should go into this spot. For liquid, we talked about teenagers yeah. or maybe early 20s to 30s. I said Miss Jaquish because I've got some sweet dance moves. They are more like liquids because they flow around each other. You stick to your I'm little sure group, they, they but you're moving very fluidly. So that is this one. So you should drag and drop this guy into this location. And then finally, a solid is rigid and keeps its shape. So in the simulation, when you had a solid, you could change the shape of the container, but the object didn't change shapes. And it's moving, but it's very, very tight together. So maybe Miss Jaquish was a liquid at first, dancing around, having a good time with her friends. And then she got tired, so she sits down to rest her legs a little bit, but the beat is still awesome, so I'm little bit of movement, but not going anywhere. Okay, that's the solid state. So you're supposed to move those three boxes to the correct location and understand what that means. I'm going to take that back to zero for a second, but go ahead and pause it and rewind if you need to. And then we're saying which one of these claims makes the most sense. And I gave you mistake wish thinking and saying claim two, molecules in a substance move differently when they change phases. Or claim three, molecules in a substance change into a new type of molecule during phase change. And you're supposed to take the circle and move it over the one that you feel is most accurate. And we said that claim two is most accurate based on the evidence that we've gathered so exactly. far. So move your circle there. And then we're going to go to the next slide because this one was the one that was a little bit more difficult. Yeah. So we have claim two, and now we want to connect evidence to why does that matter? Why is this evidence valid? So we reread the Weird Water article, which you can find on your Amplified assignment. And we pulled out the quote, the appearance of water is determined by the way the water molecules are moving. So why does that matter? If the appearance of water is determined by the way the molecules are moving, then wouldn't that indicate that the appearance of all substances oh, are probably influenced by the way they're moving? Turn off my video. So then I have the sentence, this matters because if molecules are always moving and their movement determines their phase, they must move differently to change phases. Therefore, claim two is supported. Going back to that sim, because that was another piece of evidence that we had, is we talked about how gas molecules seem to fly everywhere, the liquid molecules flow around each other, and then solid, there wasn't 
much movement or changing a shape, but they stayed in the same place. So why does that matter? And that matters because the sim shows that molecules move differently, I should say depending on the phase, I should go back and fix that. So yeah. molecules move differently depending on the phase that they are in. So therefore claim two is supported. Go ahead and pause it here and update yours. You don't have to use the same sentences I use, but the evidence should make sense. When we get to the end of the unit, you are gonna be required to do this process without me. So I wanna make sure you're very comfortable with it and you understand how it flows together, okay? Now we're going to claim three. In claim three, we know is not correct, but we still want evidence to prove that it's not correct. We don't just say, eh, claim two is proven, so we don't even need to deal with claim three. That's not how science works. So claim three, molecules in a substance change into a new kind of molecule during phase change. I'm gonna use the exact same quote from the article. The appearance of water is determined by the way the water molecules are moving. This evidence helps refute claim three. So I can use that same piece of evidence to support claim two or to refute claim three. It works both ways. Thank you, sentence. This matters because it proves molecules are always moving in phases, not changing into new molecules. Therefore, claim three is refuted. We're going to use the simulation again. And during class, I elicited this information from your classmates. And one of your classmates said, when we change phases in the sim, the molecules didn't change, but they moved differently and the speed changed. So now they brought in the idea that it's moving differently. And they also noted that the speed changed, but the molecule itself did not change. This matters because it shows the molecules moving, not changing into something new. When you looked at the simulation, those molecules didn't change into new molecules. They just moved differently. Therefore, claim three is refuted. So now I have evidence to support claim two and evidence that refutes claim three. I hope this helps.